Welcome to Tech Brothers with Damir. In this video, we are going to understand uh, this error and then uh, find a solution. Um, so the error is uh, the alter table statement conflicted uh, with the foreign key constraint in SQL Server. So think about a scenario where you have uh, two tables created, uh, you have inserted some data and then uh, your manager asks, hey, we need to create the foreign key constraint. Uh, you have the columns and everything ready. So see here we have DBO customer table and we have customer ID, that's a primary key. We have first name, last name, and social security number columns. So once uh, you have this table already there, you have created a DBO orders table, order ID, integer, identity column. You have a uh, uh, order item name, order item amount, and customer ID. You created that one as well. Now, you have inserted the data. You totally forgot uh, to create the foreign key constraint uh, between these two tables. Uh, so no primary foreign key relationship between two tables, but you went ahead uh, and uh, inserted some uh, data. So let's insert the data into the DBU customer table first. Uh, I'm inserting two records, uh, and you can see that with the ID one and ID two. And uh, then we have uh, a first name and uh, last name and social. Now we can insert the data into the DBO orders tables as well. So we have a order item name, order item amount, and customer ID. So you see that here I have only ID 1 and ID 2, but here I'm inserting the ID 1 and 3. As there is no relationship between these two tables, like primary key and foreign key relationship, it is going to let me insert. It is not going to validate the data as there is no relationship. So we are all good. So you see that uh, we have customer ID 1 and 2 in the DBO customer table and then uh, we have uh, ID 1 and 3 in uh, DBO orders table. Now all of a sudden you got, uh, uh, to rem uh, you remember or something, uh, your manager say, oh, hey, have you created uh, the foreign key constraint uh, between two tables and uh, or uh, you suddenly like uh, um, doing some data validations and you thought, okay, I was supposed to create uh, the foreign key constraint but i see there are some mismatch so you see that oh, okay we have id 1 and 2 here why why we have id 3 i was supposed to have uh, the foreign key relationship between two tables uh, so they should be always matching uh, and then you check that and you said okay that's the problem we have f we, we have forgotten uh, to create uh, the foreign key constraint uh, or the relationship between these two tables uh. now you come back and you say alter table dbo orders uh, add constraint foreign key uh, customer id foreign key and uh, take the customer id from orders table references uh, to the dbo customer that's our primary key table and then uh, we have customer id from there now you go ahead and run this one and then uh, you got the problem right there the alter table statement conflicted uh, with the foreign key constraint the conflict occurred in database tech brothers it and table this one and customer id so why is that happening? Because you have the values here in the DBO orders, they do not exist in DBO customer. So what you need to do here, you need to fix, maybe first of all, you, you will say, okay, I want to fix the values. That's one way you will go ahead and update the, this order, sorry, customer ID in the order table according to what you have in the uh, your DBO customer table. That's one way to do it. Once the records are fixed, uh, then you can uh, simply go ahead and create uh, the foreign key constraint. But if uh, you don't care, your manager say you consult with manager, team lead and business. They say, we don't care uh, about the old records. Uh, no big deal. Let it, let them be as it is. Uh, but we want to go ahead and create the foreign key constraint moving forward. Uh, and uh, no record should uh, go without the check in the integrity or validation of primary key and foreign key. So you said that, okay, uh, fine. I can create that constraint uh, that will work moving forward, but it will accept the old data, whatever it is. Uh, so this data even is uh, uh, wrong data uh, as, as uh, uh, primary key and foreign key constraint, but uh, as our management uh, or our uh, business is fine with the old data, they don't care about that. We can create uh, the foreign key by ignoring the old records. So we will say with no check. So don't check the old or existing data in the table. Go ahead and create the foreign key constraint. But once the foreign key constraint it will be added, now the foreign key constraint is added. Now if you will try to insert any value, let's say four, that does not exist here. 
you see we have only customer one and customer two and I'm trying to insert four here now sorry Control C. if I will run this uh, statement it will throw error it was uh, it is okay for the old records even uh, uh, see we have uh, three here so still there are some orphan records I will say or incorrect uh, records but uh, we went ahead and created the constraint with, by using with no check so it didn't check the old data but moving forward any records you will insert it will check by using the primary key and foreign key relationship so if the record does not exist in the primary key table and you try to insert that value in the foreign key table it will throw error so i hope you learn how to use with no check to ignore the existing data and go ahead and create the constraint for the incoming or future records so that this is the way you will be able to create the constraint uh, I will see you guys in next video I will put the uh, link in the description for the scripts so you can copy and play with them thanks very much for watching this video and spending time with me